Welcome back, everyone. This is What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways. Today is National Innovation Day. It exists to encourage young people to be creative and innovative. While the day focuses on those in their formative years, innovation need not stop with maturity. And those who are older may both encourage the young and dabble in their own innovations today. Have you discovered any innovation lately? No. No? Mm -hmm. Let's find the cure for coronavirus. First. Yes, that's, that's the, the most important that's yeah. key thing right right now. for me right yeah. now. I think don't the world. Come to Niger, please. Yes. No, the world. Please it's already in Egypt. It, 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 yes. don't it's, come it's here. It's in Africa, please. sadly. Well, North Africa, um, we're still far. Please. <laughs> that's what you think. <laughs> I think I always pray like for that brilliant idea. I know Owa is a master of ideas. My, bro mm. I need to like take off her brain, you know, <laughs> and put it in mind. All right, moving on. Here is what caught our attention in the news today, starting with you, Isi. What caught okay, your fancy? This was caught, um, taken from um, the Nation's newspaper, which says National Assembly is committed to finding solutions to insecurity in mm -hmm. Nigeria, um, alongside Buhari, the Buhari, President Buhari's uh, government. I've, um, this was stated by the Senator, Senator, the President of... Um, of um, the Senate, um, um, Senator Ahmad Lawan. Mm -hmm. He said he's committed to working with the President Buhari, to, with President Buhari to find a lasting solution to the current um, insecurity in the country. I think this has been overrated because this is an issue that has been on for years. Mm -hmm. In fact, I can't remember the last time we were safe in Nigeria. Um, recently, I think in Katsina, about 30 people were actually killed by bandits. Bandits yeah. don't have faces, bandits don't have names. In those days when people are actually in this kind of a situation, they, they actually fish them out and um, have them prosecuted. But yeah. in, the, in, in, in today's era, you can't even go from Lagos to Ibadan without being scared that you're going to be kidnapped That's or true. in one way or the other, you'll be um, um, manhandled by yeah. somebody. And this also was um, spoken by, um, um, taken, this was taken from Vanguard when um, former President Atiku, uh, Vice President Atiku said that this is as a result of lack of jobs for the younger ones, all the valid youngsters. View. Yes, Very valid and I view. think um, he has actually nailed it because we, the younger ones, all the youth of Nigeria, are mm -hmm. actually being led astray by the government. And he said this is more pronounced in today's government because this was not like it was not. It wasn't this bad in the previous government. Yeah, it's like as the day goes by, crime is becoming. More, more bold. Prevalent. Yes. Yeah. It's like I, I, I'm going to kidnap you, and you and have the guts will to come happen. up on social media and say, "Oh, you know what? This is what I'm going to do." Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's sad. Lack exactly. of jobs and also the in, the steady rise in um, goods, consumer goods, and food mm. and everything. So I mean, mm. they, people just run to crime. I, I think I, I think the earlier this is tackled, I, and um, um, but, uh, former President um, Babengida was also talking about it as well. I think it has reached an alarming state in Nigeria that we are all feeling unsafe. That means the present government, I think, has failed in that aspect of um, security, in and amongst others. Yeah. Let's not go into yeah. that. Yeah, because we always we are all we will always call out for like mm. more attention needs to be paid uh, mm. to security. In Nigeria, people need to people need to feel safe. Yeah. Although here in Lagos, to a certain extent, we are safer compared to our brothers and sisters safer. in the exactly. north. I think it's more prevalent in the north. Exactly. But anyway, let's move on. Um, Faith, what did you find in the news? So my topic's a bit uh, controversial. It's about aphrodisiac, um, Nigeria Ooh. men's yes, ending okay. romance with death. So I mean, I find this very um, funny because like we're you know, Christian and Muslim, we're very religious and, you know, a lot of men are buying aphrodisiac, you know, they want to last longer in bed, they want to show this girl that, yeah, I got this, you know. <laughs> so it's just crazy that, you know, you're taking this pill, you don't know what the after effects are, you don't even know what your own medical situation is. You know, if you have a weak heart, mm -hmm. if you have high blood pressure, you need to be really careful about the things that you put into your system. So yeah, this is very interesting. Uh, men out there find natural ways to, you know. I think yeah, actually somebody them. actually even died from this. Uh, yeah, re the recently, the 60 year old died. that died from Maybe it. He took too much dosage. Uh, so I think he was so I think he had a health excited. problem. And then, you know, the things, it speeds up your metabolism to yeah. keep you active. active. So that ended up, you know, 
not working out well for him. Oh, wow. Mm. Well, and I'm, look at the age, 60, 60. So the funny thing about this thing is it's not only older guys that are doing it. Oh, the it's, younger ones yeah, are also so doing it? Yeah, so it's the case it? of a 15-year-old. I Why know. Why would a 15-year-old do I that? know, it's crazy. That. But a 15-year-old, um, his father found That's it. That's like the peak of your youth. Isn't it? I think he's, he's trying to explore his options. You know, on, <laughs> if you go on Insta, Instagram, let me not mention, but on Instagram, there are a lot of adverts on collab, mm. just different names of mm. you know, celebrities have their own, they've started creating their own products to sell. So okay. it's crazy. Are just insecure on, I think it's, it maybe has something to do with insecurity. People are totally. insecure on so many levels. So totally. it's beyond. Um, I'm tall, I'm short. People have hidden insecurities. And nobody wants to be a one-minute man, so that's another. And yeah. perversion also comes into play, yeah. probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, let's move on. If you're going to take that, any form of aphrodisiac, is it, it's better it, if it's prescribed, right? Is it? Yeah, I think does it, have it definitely goes, you know, see a doctor, but most of this Instagram stuff, like, is it even tested on? That's my problem. Like, it's not tested, you're buying it because, yes, I, you know, all right, Someone okay, so let's was. move on anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now, moving on to what I found in the news, what caught my attention. I opened up Twitter mm -hmm. because news breaks first on Twitter. Absolutely. Um, so T-Boss, Tokun Boido, uh, former Big Brother housemate, was trending. And I was like, what mm. is going on? So I went on to Instagram because the story was picked up from Instagram. And I found this clip where she was crying and, you know, it, she wasn't looking all right. So I investigated the news and I found out that... Um, a Twitter troll, sorry, an Instagram troll had called out, you know, finally she showed the world picture of uh, uh, her, her daughter, baby. that's her right there, uh, from Instablog. We got the clip from Instablog, oh, Niger. And it's just sad how, um, I mean, she finally decides to, the joys of motherhood, she decides to unveil the face of her beautiful daughter to the world, and someone has the guts to say, oh, is that what you've been hiding? And went ahead to call the baby, yeah, yeah, foul. I think that's, that's painful, that's, that's insensitive yes. on the highest level and it was totally uncalled for. I think that that troll, whoever that person is, needs to get um, some joy in his or her life because I think a lot of it also stems from like what she said, insecurity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She wants to, whoever that person wants to be, wants to live T-Boss's life. It's so obvious. So the fact that she insulted the child, which wasn't totally uncalled, was, it was totally uncalled for, yeah. was uh, you envy the lady. You want to live the, 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 the lady's yeah. life. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, the child didn't do nothing, nothing to yeah. you. So and you said to pull the child in. I don't yeah. think it's really about her child. Sorry, T-Boss, um, if you're watching this. It's just so sad that Nigeria is, like, there's no boundaries in social media. Uh, people are crazy and they're, like, happy typing behind their keyboards and they just really say really horrible things. Don't take it to heart. Your child is beautiful. That's all I have to say. The Absolutely. child is you know, gorgeous, people were, actually. People were saying, popular opinion out there on Twitter, mm -hmm. that it's possible T-Boss is going through other things. So it's maybe not just because someone called out on her daughter. Maybe she's just going through so many things yeah. and it's like if, an emotional eruption. Like I think everybody has that challenge. Everybody mm -hmm. goes through one thing or the other. But the bottom line is that... I can take it. You talk to me. I can take it. But you don't have don't to bring my little my little darling into it. I think that's where um, mm. it actually got to T-Boss. I mean, you know how she carries that child. Yeah. She has been... She's, I think she should be the mother of the year, for all I care, because she's, she's, she's so done in so... Awe of her I'm telling you, you can see the love she oozing from her. her. And you just... You troll just came out of nowhere and decided to insult the child. It's terrible. It's, it's painful. It's totally painful. So, but um, T-Boss, we think your daughter is absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Don't let one troll, you know, bring oh. out all those tears from your eyes. Come on. Like, the world is standing behind you. Everybody's been in support of her. People are consoling her, telling mm -hmm. her it's okay. And please just, just let it slide. I mean, mm -hmm. being famous has the side effects, and this Ooh. is just one of it. I think worse will happen eventually. So brace it up, girlfriend. Toughen right? up. Toughen up. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is what are you saying? Hashtag ways. Helen Oshikoya joins us right after this break. Please stay with us.